Back to our top story this morning now. The White House releasing about 100 pages of emails showing many in the administration helping shape the talking points after the attacks of 9-11 in Benghazi. Uh, this is one email sent about 9 o'clock that night, September 14th, which would have been a Friday. Here's where we stand as of this hour. Everyone has submitted coordination comments. The State Department had major reservations with much or most of the document. We revise the document with their concerns in mind. That from a CIA official. Uh, Republican Senator Rand Paul out of Kentucky, a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and the Homeland Security Committee with me here, sir. And good morning to you, Senator. Good morning, Bill. Uh, where are you on this today? Well, I think one thing that's uh, sort of fascinating is we've had several statements from Hillary Clinton saying she wasn't involved, but now it turns out that her spokesman uh, was involved. Ms. Newland was writing statements saying, you know what? Politically, this isn't going to look good. So it sounds like Hillary Clinton's fingerprints are all over these talking points. And, you know, really, her resignation was a beginning, but she never really fully accepted culpability. And I think she needs to accept culpability for this disaster in Benghazi. Uh, in addition to Hillary Clinton, well, I guess that, that's the person you want to talk to then. Well, yeah, because she's been saying she had had nothing to do with these talking points. Sounds like her spokesman, which is essentially her, is emailing back and forth and saying she's having conversations that night, presumably with State Department leadership. I would think that includes Hillary Clinton. Uh, does, so, th does this then, does it also clarify to you? Does it raise more questions as to how Susan Rice was selected to go on the, the Sunday shows? Maybe, maybe to deflect uh, a linkage to Hillary Clinton. But the whole point is, you know, Hillary Clinton has resigned, but she hasn't accepted responsibility for this. Not only was she intimately involved with the talking points, for six months it was her department turning down the request for security. So absolutely, we need to get to the bottom of this, but we also need to get to the bottom of this so it doesn't happen again. It isn't just about the blame that Hillary Clinton deserves for this scandal and disaster, but it's about not letting this happen again. Nobody really has made the point that I think the embassy in Libya should have been under military control, and that was Hillary Clinton's decision, the president's decision, and we still have an embassy there under State Department control, and I wonder if they're still adequately protected. Well, well, why do you believe military control was necessary then? Well, because it's a country just emerging from war. Most of the time, the host country provides the ultimate protection for our embassy. Well, they were leaving the militia. The unofficial February 17th brigade was supposed to guard our ambassador. And when they either saw people coming or were complicit in people coming, they ran. They were immediately gone. All of a sudden, they disappear, and there's nobody guarding our embassy or our consulate in Benghazi. I think it was inexcusable. This from General Petraeus in the 96 or so emails. Quote, no mention of the cable to Cairo either. Frankly, I just as soon not use this. What do you make of that? Yeah, a lot of misgivings about the, what they were going to say. I still don't understand their motivation unless it was purely political not to call this terrorism. But really, you know, the fact that uh, the State Department was intimately involved in this and they were taking out factual information because they were worried about the political ramifications of that, I think that's a pretty important point. Uh, Rand Paul, thank you for your time, Senator. It was brief. We got a lot of breaking news today. Appreciate you coming on. We will talk again. Thank you, Senator. Thank you.